Good evening. My name is Karen Yap, and I've lived in Pleasant Hill since 1984. I currently live in the Woodside Hills neighborhood, but I also lived for 12 years in Gregory Gardens. I'd like to know if our city attorney contacted the attorney, Mr. Shankman, and if so, did he agree to provide additional time past the 90 day deadline? If so, why are we rushing with four meetings crammed so closely together? We want people to be involved and they haven't had the time to even hear about this yet. We have been, if we have been granted that extra time, let's use it. Let's take the time to do this the right way. It would be so much more beneficial to have a true interactive hearing, more like a workshop where we can all participate as equals. I, I haven't heard any mention of you considering switching to a full-time at-large mayor with four districts. I feel strongly that Pleasant Hill should stick with five districts and a rotating mayor. Being the mayor entails, of course, a lot of extra time. It seems to work best when you do it for a year and then get four years off. If we were to go with four districts and an at-large mayor, right now there is no provision for, for providing any extra compensation. Now you may all feel that compensation, compensation isn't important. I know that being a city council member is pretty much a volunteer job. However, that is one of the factors that makes it most attractive to older residents in upper income brackets. People with lower incomes can't devote 20 to 30 hours a week to a volunteer job. Those, that's the timing that council member Noack described last at the last meeting. So having a full-time mayor is going to require additional compensation. So if, if you go that way, it should really be put to a vote of all residents for the public to decide if that's what the majority wants.